What's up gardeners, Devin is back here for a very short episode of Plant Vibrations. Um, it's like the beginning of March, spring is around the corner. I have some Buddleia butterfly bush that needs to be pruned. And um, I thought I'd do a short, quick vi little video demonstrating how to properly prune our butterfly bush in the springtime. Now for me, spring is the best season to prune the Buddleia. They're some of the most vigorous shrubs and by pruning them back hard each spring, you will number one, keep the plant very compact and densely growing. Um, if you don't, they can get quite tall and they'll often end up flowering just at the very top of the shrub. So by cutting them back quite hard in the springtime, the form will be nice and dense and you should generally have flowers all the way around by doing so. Now, like I was saying, these are very, very vigorous plants and they can handle being pruned hard every single year easily. And um, so that is what I'm going to show you guys how to do. Now, I believe the, la the threat of frost has come and gone. So I think we're in the clear. That's really a, the best time to do so. Right around the very beginning of spring is the best time to be doing this pruning. Although, because these are such vigorous plants, you can definitely prune them pretty much any time of the year and they'll respond favorably. Um, if you are in a different hemisphere and you're looking for some fall cleanup, ideas for your Buddleia, check my video link up there and um, you can watch what to do with your Buddleias in the fall. So you can see this plant is about two and a half feet tall and I'm gonna cut it down to about six inches. So precisely where to cut is kind of doesn't really matter, but if you can locate um, a set of buds, which if we can see right here, um, this would be a set of buds right where some old leaves had come out of. So uh, nodes, buds, pr means the same thing. So the best thing to do is cut just above um, the set of buds, set of nodes that you want to. So I think a cut right here will be perfect. A quick side note is that you can see that there is green um, in the stem and that means it is alive. If you are to cut any back and there's no green, that means those stems have died, which is normal. And um, you can cut those stems down all the way to the very ground. Like this one was probably, actually it was a little green. So anyways, um, so quick side note. All right, so now we just go around and cut it all back. If you caught my video on pruning back hydrangea in the springtime, you might remember that um, it's always a good idea to cut at an angle. That way, if any water comes down from rainfall, which will happen, um, the water just kind of glides off rather than staying put right on the top of those cut sections. Um, that is really nice because that will, as these open wounds are healing, um, we don't want them to stay moist. That might encourage some molding and um, you might have to cut it back again to encourage fresh new growth. If you don't have any sharp shears, uh, I recommend using Felcos. I'm using my Felco number fives if you need to buy some. Um, check out the description. I will leave a link for some of these. These, I use them for everything in my garden. Felcos, they're pricier than your average uh, pruning shears, but they are well worth the investment. They really do last a lifetime. Now, once you have all of the primary stems cut down, anything that is kind of thin um, and just is a little bit weak looking, we'll also go ahead and cut those because we don't really need the we don't really need them. And also in the process, if you notice that if there were any branches that looked diseased or damaged or uh, crossing, those are always branches to eliminate, uh, those are always stems to eliminate as well. So here you can see this nice, healthy framework of my Buddleia. This is gonna grow uh, so rapidly, so vigorously, once it really starts to get a little bit warmer and the days are a little bit longer. This will easily reach, you know, probably five, six feet tall by mid summertime. Um, that's why I like to prune these every year. Keep them in check, keep them compact, and help them to really flower at their fullest capacity. So doing this each spring is definitely worth the, 
30 seconds it takes. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was a little bit informative and uh, directly to the point. If not, and you have some more questions, please let me know in the comments below. Think about subscribing. I'm trying to do videos every single week, both out, outside plants as well as indoor house plants. Um, so stick around as we continue to explore the world of plants together. All right, I'll catch you guys soon. Ciao.